Yo, what's up everyone? Kiros here. And have you ever wanted to punch things into oblivion? Oh yeah. I'm gonna teach you how to get the colossal arms. I'm gonna teach you how to get it day one. That's right, day one. You're gonna be able to get to the second island. You're gonna be able to uh, get to locations that you typically can't get to. Or, I mean, I guess you could get to them, but the story takes you there eventually. So I'm just gonna show you how you do it without the story and how you're gonna have to use a couple tricks to get up to uh, maybe see this island and a few other uh, secret locations to get this free SSR relic. So I've got everything you need to know. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Hit the chapters down below and like and subscribe let's get started okay so essentially the relic is located here in navia park now you can't just walk in there it requires doing a a, a separate quest and a few things beforehand in order to get access to it so you can find navia park here which another name for it is cedas park which you can see here you don't actually need access to cedas park but getting access to Cedars Park is going to make it easier for teleporting and easier for getting to all those locations you need to get to. Another reason to get to Cedars Park is it's going to give you access to this vending machine, which gives you a chance of getting the item you need for this quest line, which is the strawberry bubble tea or whatever it, it's called. And uh, if you do get it, it's going to speed up your progress, but we can make it just in case you don't get it talk about that in just a second all right hold the phone you might be trying to figure out how do i even get to the second island i'm stuck on the first one because it's day one i'm glad you asked if you guys have the jetpack and you have there's two different locations where you can kind of cross over the water to get over there um here it is you can see the footage right next to me uh this is from my reroll guide and here are the locations on the map essentially what you're going to do is you're going to uh fly up in the air you're going to dash uh dash pump across the whole way until you get to the second island and if you haven't checked out my top five beginner tips i teach you some of these tricks and one other trick that you're going to need to do is infinite wall climbing all right so now let's make our way up to see this you can see that i found one of these uh belts that are connecting to the city above you can find anyone out there there's a bunch connecting to it just find the closest one to you and you could do the exact same climb i'm about to show you All right, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to use your booster to try and get over any ledge. Now you're not always gonna grapple on, so just keep trying until you do. And bam, we made it to see this. Congratulations, everyone. Okay, let's start with the items we need. First, we need a strawberry ice soda. Now, remember earlier where I said getting to see this is a good thing? Well, if you got that strawberry ice soda from the vending machine, congratulations. You are officially done with this step. But just in case you didn't, I'm going to show you how to make it. Well, first, you're going to get some strawberries. You can find those here. Or you can use this fancy map at towerofancy.info to find out all the locations. But be careful grabbing these strawberries because there's going to be lots of high-level baddies around it because you're not supposed to be here. Grab them and get the f*** out. All right, next up, we need some honey. Do I really need to explain honey? It is literally everywhere. I'm sure you've seen a bajillion of them. Just find a few honey and get in there and grab them. All right, now we're going to teleport back to the second zone city. You probably passed by it, and I hope you did pass by it. Go to this vendor and grab some water. Don't grab too much, but you're going to have to grab at least maybe 10 to 20 of them. But you're going to be a little short on cash. 
Next up, you're going to have to learn the as a recipe. You can click the button down at the bottom, and here is the secret recipe. Two strawberries, two honeys, and just dump a whole lot of water in there because you need to use 15 materials. And water is cheap, and you could buy essentially as much as you want. And bam! Strawberry soda achieved. Okay, moving right along, now we need some two repair kits. Now, these are really easy to get. It's going to require the go do a mini game to get two packages to be able to select this. Now, the mini games you see on your map here, in here, they change locations every single day, and you only need about 100 to 200 coin to buy it from the shop. So head on over to any single one and just do one game. By the way, the shop you're looking for is in the escape key here. And these are what the packages look like that you need to buy. I suggest buying at least two because you're going to need two, but maybe four. Whew. All right. Cheers. You've made it this far. So uh, let's actually start the quest now. Yikes. All right. You're going to first want to teleport to this location. We're essentially going to the coastline. Now our goal is that oil rig all the way at the end. You want to head out to that oil rig till you find the NPC. All right, once here, you're just going to want to spam that first option. And then we're going to want to teleport back to where that food merchant was because we're going to go talk to our robot. Spam through the dialogue and head all the way back to that oil rig that we were just at. Once here, select all the bottom options over and over again until he lets you on the boat. Once on the boat, head up the stairs and talk to the writing on the wall. Now we're going to head to the next oil rig. All right, you can see the next oil rig here. It's not on the map, but you're going to teleport back to see this and then essentially fly on down. If you didn't unlock see this, you're going to have to run. And look at that, another boat guard. You're going to want to select the bottom three options again till he lets you on the boat. Now make your way over to Fat Gus. I don't actually know his name, but that's that's the name I've given him. Fat Gus, hello, how are you? You're gonna select the top option till he gives you that component because you're gonna give him a strawberry soda. All right, now we must light the beacons of Gondor. You're gonna have the North Beacon, the South Beacon, and then the East Beacon. Now you can just teleport back to see this and fly to each single one of these. It'll be easy peasy. All right, now we're flying to the North location. This one's really easy. You're just going to go on in, enter the code 5972, and then make sure you interact with it twice until you get this cutscene. Bam. Now we're going to head on over to the south one. Now this one's a little tricky, but pretty easy still. There's going to be enemies here and they could one shot you. Now you need to use the repair devices by simply just going up to these repair hubs on the second floor. There's three of them. Make sure you just interact with all three till they turn green and then interact with the console. Finally, we're going to head to the east one. Now, this one's the easiest of all because we already got the component from our good friend, Fat Gus. All you got to do is head inside, go to the console, and hit the interact key. It should uh, kick it off, and then we're off to the secret Navia Park. All right, to get inside, you're just going to uh, essentially fly on down to the middle of that beam, interact, and it's going to teleport you inside. Once inside, your sweet trophy awaits right there in the middle. There's four other chests. Grab everything. There's a lot of goodies in there. And congratulations, you have an SSR relic. Now you go smash some things. Oof, 
Congratulations on your SSR relic. There was a couple other pieces there for getting some of the mounts. I'll have that video. I just wanted to break it apart because I think this was a little long-winded already. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you for launch day. I'll see you out there in Ada. Come ask your questions on my YouTube live streams or on my Twitch.tv uh, live streams. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. This bump from me to you.